<laughs> You're still on north, but this time it was your fault. That's okay. I feel like it's all a bit even now. Well, it is. So, You're yeah. both equally the disastrous. Power has yeah. been restored. No <laughs> money to lose, so I'm afraid you go down a level. <laughs> oh. Basically, fun. we're exactly where we started about <laughs> four days ago. Right. <laughs> this is the next question. Question number six. Which Blade Runner star was escorted out of... I remember this. Out of the 2008 Directors Guild of America Awards Ceremony. Specialist? <laughs> Gonna be Mark. Have a look, these are the options. Mark obviously did not get these, the other four did. A, B, C or D was the right answer. Sean Young. Rutger Hauer. <laughs> Daryl Hannah. Uh, Edward James Olmos. Do you know? I don't know. Okay, right, I'll tell you the answer is a lady, although she wasn't a lady on this particular occasion, Sean Young. Okay. She was actually chucked out for heckling uh, one of the directors because his speech was too long and boring. And she was thrown out, and everybody watching going, Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, would Mark have known it? I think he probably would, but he did not have the options. Did he remember her name? Hmm. No. Want me to lock it in straight away like last time? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bad or not, I don't know. Because last time it was a disaster. Okay, thanks for reminding it's me. Okay, I'm here for. Sarah, <laughs> Ling, Doogie, Freddie, or the prof. They're probably the three that wouldn't have known it. Sarah's like, she's, she's interested uh, in entertainment and presenting. She'd have been all over that, wouldn't she? I think she'd so. She'd have known that. Do we play it safe and go for somebody like the prof? He surprised us by knowing well, we've got a lot to lose, so. have we, really? Well, we've <laughs> got no money. When you say one, not so. a lot, like, nothing. Okay, do we take... Oh. We might as well be Mark, then, really. But it'd be nice just to have, like, what? get rid of the zero. Be um, brave. You've only got okay, question number six. OK, let's go with Mark, then. Yeah, Mark. let's Mark. do it, yeah. yeah. Mark, OK. Yeah. The roll continues. Right, lock it in. <laughs> let's look at the other four. Please give us the four together. Let's look at Doogie, Frederick, Prof and Sarah. How did they do? Who knew it? Three were stumped out of four. Frederick knew it. Was Mark stumped to get you back on some money, to get you up to £1,000? Otherwise, it'll be, frankly, pretty damned embarrassing. <laughs> OK, Mark, were you stumped? Please, you stumped. No! <laughs> it started badly, but it's getting so much worse. <laughs> Does that mean we owe you money now? Well, you do at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to something to console you, but, you know, I can't think of a thing. The We're going for up. a late break, late finish. Sorry about this, audience. I'm working with rough clay tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the next question. <laughs> Come on, we can win some money here. Come on, guys. This is question number seven. Which is the closest planet in this solar system to the Sun? Mercury, Venus, Earth... Mars. Specialist is Professor Colin Pillinger. <coughs> Going to be Professor Colin. He did not have these options. The other four did. Right, A, B, C or D? Let's have a look. Mercury, Venus, Earth or Mars. Those are the four options. It's uh, Mercury. Because of Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, then Mars. Is but, it Mercury? Uh... Are you sure? How did you know that? Science no. degree. Oh, no. OK. Yeah. Right, don't forget, you had the options, you didn't. Right, let's have a look. Is Mercury the right answer? Yeah. OK, right, with the Professor now... Definitely. That's his specialism, isn't it? He should, shouldn't he? Yeah. Planetary science, isn't it? Um, I know. I think Sarah's the Sarah. safe bet, yeah. Sarah's we'll a... go with Sarah, yeah. shall we? Sarah. Yeah. You've suddenly got this massive confidence. <laughs> and it can't be based on anything that's happened so far. Just pretend. <laughs> Lock it in, Sarah! She did not know this. Of course she didn't. Ha! Right, the professor did it. He must have known this. It's a bit embarrassing if you didn't know this one, Cole. Have a look. <laughs> of course he did. We never doubted him. Doogie, who knows everything. Except probably this. Oh, he knew it! Hey. Aha! <laughs> Frederick, did Fred know? <laughs> right, give me both then, please, guys. We want stumped on Sarah. We want to tick on Mark. Let's have a look at both of them, please. Up they come. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Right, so you've got a thousand pounds. You're still paying for a thousand pounds. The question. This is the next one. Question number eight. Right, which pundit <laughs> once famously remarked, "John Parrot wants a screw with plenty of bottom." <laughs> I just read them. Your specialist will be Doogie Donnelly. He'll know this, cos it's kind of memorable, I would have thought. 
But who knows? These are the four options the others were given. Doogie wasn't. <coughs> Dennis Taylor. John Virgo. Hazel Irvine. Steve Davis. Mm. He has not got any options. The other four obviously did. He does do quite a lot of snooker commentating, though, doesn't he? Check the answer first. Which one was it? Uh, Let's have a look. It sounds like a John Virgo comedy line. It was yeah. a John Virgo. I don't think Sarah would know. You're picking on Sarah now. I think we need to get up the level, so while well, we've of course still you got do. the opportunity. Even if we get it wrong, we get no money again. Oh, I lose and then you lose no ground, don't we? Right, I'm going to... You make the decision, then. You take the hit, as you like to say. Sarah? She'd be a safe play, Sarah. She'd be a safe bet, but... You know, we're on question eight, haven't we? And we've got to get up, try and get the levels up. So that's only going to happen by... Yeah, but are we being silly just rushing through the levels and, and actually he's bound to know that question? I think take a risk. OK, Doogie. You're not saying that with any great conviction, it seems. I don't have any. <laughs> OK, lock it in, Doogie Donnelly. Let's have a look at the others. Did Freddie know? Yeah, he did. Did Mark know? Yes, he did. Professor, did you know this? You're a big Buggles fan, which is a bit of a puzzle to us all. Did you know this? Yes, he did. Sarah, you said she's a banker. She definitely won't know. We need to know how Sarah did, and clearly we desperately need to know how Dougie did. We'll find out after the break. And go away.